before this video begins, I just want to let you guys know, I originally had this video up, but when I was looking through my YouTube, I accidentally took it down while I was trying to clear some stuff on my channel, but, but I, I just letting you know right now, this video is getting brought back up, and I highly recommend you watch this one first before you check out the second one, so I apologize if this video was taken down by accident, so this is just a re-upload, so without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so before this video begins, I apologize if the audio sounds weird, or if I sound weird, it's because uh, my headset or my controller has been kind of screwing up my audio lately. I don't know which one it is, but I, whenever I plug in my headset into my controller, it just always has this weird staticky sound, and I kind of had to switch back and forth between controllers and over and over, so I don't know if it's my controller that's causing my headset to do the static problem, or if it's just my headset in general causing the static problem when I plug it in, so I'm not too sure, so if I sound weird throughout this video, I apologize. I have to go back to my earbuds until I can find either another controller or another headset that will actually work and the audio will be fine, but I digress, so let's just get straight into the video. Okay, so... You can already tell the, the, the by the thumbnail and the title of the video, it's exactly what I'm going to be talking about. about. So, I know it's going to be another GTA related game. Now, I'm going to say this right now. GTA 5, I didn't really enjoy it as much. I will say this though. GTA 5 is actually one of the best games of all time. And I will admit, it is a pretty good game. But it's just, for me, when, the way I got to play it and experience, it just really didn't catch a lot of my interest. I mean, I tried some of the missions. It just really didn't interest me as much. Much. The only thing that I got interested in was the racing. But other than that, that's pretty much it. For GTA. I mean, that's the only thing that was interesting me in the game. And I hope Cyberpunk isn't like that, where I just find one thing... And then I just get bored after that. I just hope they actually deliver what they promise in Cyberpunk. Because we've seen the trailers and possibly some gameplay leaks and all, all that stuff. I mean, that stuff looked pretty awesome. Like, the trailer and everything that, thing that we see. I hope Cyberpunk delivers that. And I do, am praying to God it doesn't take up my entire hard drive. Like, you know campers duty also known as call of duty barn of warfare has because every update they make is like a hard drive's worth it by itself and it's getting pretty tiring so i don't really play call of duty anymore that thing is just being taken up too much of my hard drive there's just too many cheaters in that game and infinity ward really needs to pull their head out of their butts and they really need to fix that game but i digress anyway i I'm praying to God that Cyberpunk is actually a good game because don't get me wrong I, I know it's a GTA related game by the way it looks and all that stuff it looks a, like a very promising game I think it's a very good game and I just hope it doesn't, doesn't end up like a colossal disaster was you know like Bethesda and Fallout 76 that game is still doing pretty dog crap maybe even No Man's Sky but then again Last time I checked, No Man's Sky is actually a good game, and it's a finished game. So that game's actually pretty fun, and the, the, the developers of Hello Games actually deliver what they promised in No Man's Sky, so I actually applaud them for that. But I will admit, there is still some things missing in No Man's Sky that could catch my interest again. But other than that, I really think, think that that was a good game. And I hope Cyberpunk takes notes of that and actually takes time to even double check, maybe even triple check. What the heck was that noise for? Maybe even double check or triple check their game to make sure nothing's broken, no bugs and all that stuff. Now, I don't want them to copy Hello Games and release, release Cyberpunk as a colossal disaster. That is not what I want. I want to actually fully release a game and make it right the first time at release, you know? Instead of having it end up like Fallout 76. And I know I've been talking about that and comparing a lot of stuff lately. But that game is still a dumpster fire. And I don't know what ding-dongs are still playing and buying that crap. 
but you guys gotta stop, okay? Bethesda doesn't care about you. They only care about your money. And I am hoping that Cyberpunk actually, actually gets their value out of their game. Because, don't get me wrong, they're working pretty dang hard. Especially in the pandemic and all this stuff. So I gotta applaud them for working pretty hard. All right, but I'll save the pandemic stuff for another day. Day. Maybe in another video. But, I mean... Okay, I guess I'm going to have to talk about this a little bit. So, my some of my friends and I have been saying we've been getting bored quite a lot. And there's not really a lot of new games coming in during this pandemic and time of crisis. Well, that's because, like I said, we're in a pandemic right now. And a lot of game developers can't really work on their games a lot. And especially Cyberpunk 2077 and... I plan to actually buy that game, but I'm not going to pre-order it because I just know that something bad is probably going to happen. Like, it's going to either get cancelled or it's going to end up delayed again. And if it gets delayed for a third time, I will not be surprised and I will actually be pretty disappointed because I'm not going to bother be waiting months on end just to have a game delayed over and over again. That's, I don't think that's how this stuff is gonna work. But then again, I'm not a game developer. I'm just a huge gamer nerd that plays video games. So what do I know? No, actually, the only thing I do know actually is the fact that the longer you delay a game, the better it could actually become because the more longer you de delay a game, it just means you have more time to work on it. And at least you're setting up up some more time to double check and fix all the problems that the game has because there's a lot of game developers that don't really test out their games before launch and then we have all these other game companies that do test out their games like cyberpunk 2077 is doing right now i'm not i'm not i'm not really sure and i haven't really been paying attention to who's been making what games anymore i've been more focused on the pandemic but i digress but I just hope Cyberpunk has been doing what the what their community has been asking them to do, even though the game hasn't been released, but there's still been a lot of people following that game. I just hope they are double checking and fixing all those game problems and all that stuff. So overall, if Cyberpunk delivers what they promised and it actually is a great game, I would be really happy because don't get me wrong, it wouldn't be impossible to make a good for your own game similar to GTA and all that you know what I'm saying but I just want a game that's GTA that's not GTA you, hey some of you might know what I'm saying some of you don't but for those of you let me catch up catch you up on that the way I phrase it is like I want a game that's just like GTA but it's not like super bad or super boring like GTA or super incredible like it's got to have like its own way and it's got to have like its own how do I I can't even god I can't speak English today it's got to have like its own unique gameplay is what I'm trying to get at I guess but the only real way I can really think about this is if cyberpunk actually gets released in November without another delay I would be shocked and I am praying to God that it doesn't get de delayed again. Because that would be disappointing. I don't know. I thought this would be an interesting topic to talk about. I've been meaning to talk about this for a while. I just never really got around to it. Because of the whole you know what's going on around the entire planet right now. So, oh, we're I mean, we're in the middle of August. And we're still in a complete crap spot. And 2020 has been a complete horrible year for everybody. But I do hope all of you are staying safe and taking this pandemic pretty seriously. So other than that, thank you all for listening. I apologize if I've been rambling for so long. Um, th this is getting pretty old and I'm getting kind of tired of all the games I've been playing. I just hope that there are awesome other games coming out right now because... I would be making some PC videos, but I mean, I got nothing to record on there. So, other than that, that if you guys want me to try to record on PC, just please let me know in the comments below. I'd be happy to know what your guys' thoughts are on this.
but other than that let me know what you guys think are you excited for cyberpunk are you not excited and if you are please let me know like i said i'd be happy to in, interested to hear what you have to say in the comments but other than that thank you all for listening and until next time you guys i hope cyberpunk gets released and it's not delayed and until then i'll see you all in the next video take care and stay safe